Warning, this video contains spoilers. With that being said, buckle up biatch. Okay then, so the movie starts with everyone going to this restaurant. They've got to get a boat there. Why? Because it's on an island. Now one of the people going is that girl from Queen's Gambit. You know the one with the big eyes? Yeah, she's going to the restaurant. Then when you get to the restaurant, you get to meet the head chef. Turns out the head chef is Voldemort. Right, so you already know some bad stuff's going to go down. When Voldemort's your head chef, it's not going to be plain sailing. We know that. Now the thing about Voldemort that they didn't really explain in Harry Potter, but they explain a lot more in this, is that he's celiac. You get no bread. You know, he's gluten free. So not allowed any bread in the restaurant, which is difficult when you're a chef. So they're serving them bread meals, but without bread. Not only is it conceptual, but it's a safe environment for Voldemort to cook in. Now the main focus really is around Queen's Gambit girl, yeah? But we get to see some of the life of the other customers. So you've got the regulars. It turns out one of the regulars, the old man, he knows Queen's Gambit girl because he paid her for some, you know, not so PG activities to indulge in, so to speak. She's a woman of the night. And I don't mean night as in like the chess piece night. I can see confusion there. Um, I mean more she's a woman of the, um, of the night. Anyway, we see some other people. You've got some, you've got some actor who's not very good. You've got these tech guys who are like proper douches. And you've also got some food critics and they're also proper douches as well. Then all these people start getting like quite annoyed at the, the service. It's not, it's not the best service. The maitre d' is a bit, bit rude, you know. You'd expect more coming from a fancy restaurant. Oh, also the sous chef just shoots himself in the middle of the restaurant and it's all part of the concept. And um, oh, Voldemort tells everyone that they're gonna die. So people are not enjoying this visit, but there's a catch. There's no phone reception out on the island. So they can't go giving him a one-star trip advisor review because they're all gonna die and they ain't got no phone service. Then you get this guy who used to be in Skins, if anyone remembers that. He was also in About Boy, I believe. Anyway, he goes into the kitchen, he cooks up the chef some like leek and lamb meal and then Voldy don't really like it, so he's really disheartened and he goes and hangs himself. That happens. Then everyone starts talking a bit and the Queen's Gambit girl starts working for the kitchen. And one of her first jobs is to go get this barrel for dessert, but they don't really explain what the barrel should look like or what kind of barrel it is. So she don't have much to go off right there. The, the staff training for new starters is pretty much non-existent. But she finds it, she brings it back, and then she just goes back to eating and being a customer. Then she asks Voldemort if he'll, if he'll do her a cheeseburger off the menu. You know, and at first he's like, hey, no substitutions, but hey, I'll do it. Why the hell not? Makes her a cheeseburger. She asks for it to go, ironically, says that her eyes are too big for her stomach, which <laughs> she does have big eyes. So she gets that cheeseburger and then she leaves. But everyone else stays there and they all get this nice parting gift, which is a necklace made out of marshmallows. They also get some lovely, lovely chocolate hats and then Voldemort gets in the middle of them all and he kind of avada cadabras himself and turns everyone into living schmores. So everybody turns into turns into a s'more, which sounds sounds delicious, but also probably probably not that delicious. And yeah. Kind of turns out that this whole thing was that he doesn't enjoy cooking that much anymore, or people don't respect his food, which hey. Maybe if you gave them a little bit of bread, <laughs> they, would, um, they would expect it more, but... And um, that's the movie, the menu anyway, so now you don't have to watch it, or you can explain it fully to other people. Enjoy!